What's up guys, Iovo here, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make your very own watermark for your YouTube videos in Photoshop. Now the reason you might want a watermark is because you want to brand your videos better, or maybe you want to put it on your video so that no one else can steal your videos, and if they do, you know that it is your content because it has your watermark on it. So the first thing we're going to do is click on File, and New, and we are going to create a new file. Now set the width and the height to the actual resolution of your videos. So I upload my videos in 720p, so I'm going to make the width 1280 and make the height 720. If my videos were in 1080p, I would make it 1920 by 1080. And just make sure the background contents are set to transparent, and then click OK. So this document right here is going to mimic the screen of our videos and the display. So if this was our video, we'd want our watermark to be over here and make it not too big, but not too small, just so you can read what it says. And you can put it on the top left or on the top right. But basically, this is going to be the screen of the video. And we are going to be basing our watermark around that. And once this image is done, we are going to just place it on top of our video. And the watermark is going to show up right there. So the first thing we have to do when we're making a watermark is find the right font to use. And to do that, we can go onto font.com, which has a bunch of free fonts you can use. And they literally have so many different types that you'll find a font you like. So we are going to go and we are going to look for a comic font. And... I like this one, it's called Space Comics, so I'm going to click download, it's going to download the zip file, I'm going to click that, it's going to open with WinZip, I'm just going to click close, and then just double click on the file to install it, and then just click install. So I'm just going to replace it since I already downloaded it, and it's just going to download onto my computer, and there we go. So now we're just going to click on the text tool, and then click on the layer. Here we are going to change the font to the one we just downloaded called Space Comics. And we're going to make it a bit smaller because right now it's too big. We're going to make it 50 PT. And I'm going to keep the color to white. And just type out Zyovo. And then click the check mark once I'm done. I can use the selection tool to just move it to where I'd want the watermark to be on my videos. So I'd want it to be right there. And now we just add some effects to our text. So we can right click. Click on blending options. And to make the watermark stand out a bit, we can add a stroke to it. So... Once again, it's all about experimenting, so I like that. Yeah, this is a good size, so I'm going to leave it at 6px and make the stroke black. And we can add a gradient or a color overlay to it, so you can choose from a bunch of preset gradients or double click on the pencils to change it to a gradient color that you like. So if I wanted to make like a purple gradient, that's nice. I can just copy this color code, double click this pencil, make it that color code again and then double click here and make that a little bit darker so it's like a gradient and that looks good there we go click OK and of course if you don't want a gradient you can just add a normal color overlay to it you can add a pattern to it you can give it a glow and you can also give it a drop shadow although since the watermark is so small I don't think there's a big point in adding a drop shadow to it but yeah just look around and see what you like for example if I was to add a Belvin emboss it would make it look more 3D and yeah I think it looks good you can also go here and go to filters and you can distort it and add other effects. Although you want to keep your watermark pretty simple because it's not a big part of your video and you don't want it to stand out too much so that people only focus on the watermark. And once you have your watermark done, you can resize it if you so want to by pressing Ctrl T, holding Shift and resizing it. But I think this looks pretty good. The final thing you'd want to do is just change the opacity of the watermark. So make sure that the layer is selected and then in opacity. I'm going to make it 50% or maybe a bit more 70 that looks good now the reason I'm doing this is because now you can still see the video underneath the watermark and the watermark doesn't distract the viewer too much as you can see on my watermark on the top left of my video it doesn't distract it too much but you can still see that it says Iovo so that's about it the final thing you want to do is go to file save as and save it as a PNG so that the background is still transparent so I'm just going to call this watermark and then in my editing software, what I would do is I would just drag in whatever. Uh, I'm just going to drag in some gameplay. There we go. We'll just put that in. And then if I was to import that watermark that I just made, which is right here, you can see that that watermark is going to show up. So let me just drag it on top. It's called watermark. It's this one. And there we go. You can see it's right there. And it's not completely opaque, you can still see through it, and it's just where we want it to be, like in the file. So that's about it for this tutorial, guys. If you enjoyed it, please be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. And as always, thanks for watching. My name is Iovo, and I'm signing out.